Hey everybody, it's Shanna and I'm hanging out today with Miss Florida USA, Lisette Garcia. How are you, Mama? I'm doing good. Mm -hmm. I'm doing great. You, you know? have a busy week. You've had a busy year, mm -hmm. right? Um, this week, you're actually going to pass the crown, right, this weekend? I am. On Saturday, um, July 16th, I'll be passing down the crown to a new young lady. Who could it be? I have no idea. But Who I'm, could it be? I'm excited about it. I really am. Really? You don't get attached to the crown? Like, you don't feel like, this is mine, I don't want to... Well, this is mine. <laughs> used and abused, really. Oh, that's really. beautiful. But, you know, it has special memories and it's always going to be a special place in my heart, but I'm looking forward to the next step, the next thing that's coming along the way, the new doors that are going to be opening. Wow. And that's what I'm looking forward to. Wow. Are you still in school right now? I am in school. What are you studying? Broadcast journalism. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> but you see, it's important to stay in school, you know? Mm -hmm. She's not, she didn't quit just because of the connection she made. She's still going to school for yes. your kids, all right? Let them no, work. absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, the title was definitely a key that opened a lot of doors, but now it's all about which door I'm going to go through and, you know, sure. just little things here and there. Well, I'd love to see you in a year to see where you're, where you're going. But this whole year, you've been using... Um, your title mm -hmm. to talk about something that's very important to you. Yes. Now, it's ovarian cancer. Cancer is a big deal for me mm -hmm. because uh, we all know somebody that's been affected by cancer in one way or another, different kinds of cancers, and we all, you know, we kind of forget to take care of ourselves. But I was reading yeah. about your grandmother. You were only eight years old. Yes, well, this bracelet is for ovarian cancer. Okay. That's why I wear it. And everything I've done basically has been pulled because of the strength that I got from my grandmother and everything that she did teach me. Ovarian cancer research was obviously my platform throughout my entire year and working closely with the American Cancer Society oh, wow. is something that I did before winning Miss Florida. It's something that I was able to incorporate the title of Miss Florida and now I'm going to continue doing it no matter what because wow. it's near and dear to my heart and you know um, um, cancer childhood cure search for children's cancer as well. I do have a cousin that does have cancer and she's a young girl. And, you know, it's just, we're all affected by it. And I, you know, I always advocate for cancer and I love teaching it and I love reading up on new research and new things that are coming out every day for it. And, you know, just being able to raise so much money for cancer, over $60,000 wow. during my reign, yeah. How did you do that? <laughs> 60 grand, like different events? Different or events, you know, I, you know, I had a team for making strides against breast cancer. I had a team and we raised money. I was able to raise cancer for Rock Camp, which is reaching out to cancer kids. Oh, wow. And that was $40,000 right there. And then with the American Cancer Society, Relay for Life, just things like that, it's all added up during my reign to that amount of money. And you know, it doesn't stop here. It's gonna continue growing. What, what ideas do you have in the future to get involved? Like just keep working with these same organizations or, or do you have anything like up your sleeve? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I still am working on my own um, ovarian cancer fundraiser, which I will incorporate that later this year. But I'm going to continue with the American Cancer Society and everything that I've been doing with them. Because it's so much fun anyways. It is. That, you know, they fun. always invite me back and it's always lots of fun and the new events and just everything that we do is great and it's always a great experience. So I'm definitely going to be by them. I think that's wonderful. I, um, huh, let's see, <laughs> I've had three of my grandparents pass away from cancer. Um, a cousin of mine had a double mastectomy. Mm -hmm. um, my husband's cousin, he has Downs, and he had um, leukemia at one point. Now, he's all right now, you know what I mean? Yeah. But so I think it's just wonderful that you're doing so much. I try to do a little, you know, I do, um, what's the walk that we do in October, I believe it is? Um, well, yeah, right, October, oh, yes. hello. All October right, cancer. it's the, the glam doll strut. We do it in Fort yes. I like that one because you get to dress up. Okay. You dress up and you wear the heels and everything. <laughs> you look cute at this. Well, but um, I think it's great and you know let me know let us know I will let my listeners know definitely I'd love to get involved or walk with your team or, or do oh, something absolutely. and you know just get it out there for you if anything else I mean it's just amazing to me you know that you you've done all this even before you had the title and then you were able because of the title to get so much more involved. Yes, I was know? definitely able to reach a lot more people with the title and it was not only American Cancer Society it was also Best Buddies, it was, you know, it was Pulse for the Cure, it was the Humane Society, it was Children's Cancer, it was so many things that I was able to do with the title of Miss Florida USA, and those are just things that you, you never forget, you know, it's for a lifetime. Well, we are very proud of you, and I'm very happy that you came to see me, and I think you have a great heart and a great future ahead of you, and I'd love to keep in touch with you, definitely. Definitely. So, we definitely will. 
Thank you.